Hello everybody, here we are today talking about the news of the Dylan Gunther extension and whether or not that'll be a bad contract for Utah or just risky contract. So before we get started with it, please make sure to subscribe if you're new to me or hockey, whatever the case may be. That being said, let's get on into it. So like many of you, I recently saw the Dylan Gunther extension and thought to myself, wow, that is a long-term contract worth a decent amount of money. For a young guy that is 21 years old that has played parts of two seasons in the NHL, not even a full combined 82 games. And it's certainly something that could make people say, is this going to be a deal that ends up hurting us in the long run if you are a Utah HC fan, which seems weird to say again. But I do think there are some reasons to be pretty optimistic about this deal and kind of explain why this deal was done. The first one, not necessarily a huge deal, but he was taken relatively high by the Arizona Coyotes previously in the draft and was seen as one of those future players. But it's more about what he's done since he's been there. Anybody can get drafted relatively high, but teams will give up on high-end picks and you've seen it before and you'll see it again. But what we've seen from Gunther so far has been pretty impressive, especially how he closed out last season. 23 points over his final 23 games, if I'm not mistaken. A point per game pace as a young player for over a quarter of a season. And in that time, he ended up having 12 goals. And I kind of think that it is unfortunate that the spotlight wasn't put more on this as it was the end of the season. But you got to think, especially Arizona wasn't a team that has ever really been able to claim a lot of media attention. And if they have, it's been for all the wrong reasons about the team leaving, of course, as it finally ended up happening. But I do think that this opens a door for maybe something big happening here. Talking about whether or not Gunther could crack 30 goals or more this season and be a player, dare I say, that goes off to average over a point per game. I mean, he did it for over 20 games. Who's to say he doesn't go up there and do it over a full season? That would be big news, as I do think a lot of people consider this team to be kind of top-heavy. Looking at a guy like Clayton Keller that has been one of their better offensive producers, now maybe having another player could play on this side that is actually going to be a point-per-game guy. And I think this is actually kind of interesting, too, because I ended up looking back at the final 23 games of the season where Gunther played. He was one of three players for the Coyotes, ended up finishing with over a point per game. The other one being Nick Schmoltz. I think he had 26 points in 23 games played. Then, of course, he had Clayton Keller because who else, you know, would do that? And then now you have Gunther. So three players right there that maybe crack 80-something points this season. Then you had other players to talk about as well, like Logan Cooley. Uh, who else was in on this? Oh, yes, Matias Michelli, as those two had 16 and 17 points respectively. And then Josh Stone, who had 9 points in 11 games. And you see some reasons to feel pretty good. And you might have, let's just say, like five guys go out there and average over a point per game. Is it unrealistic? Yes, especially for this team. But if you were to have that happen, you'd be really happy. Yes, yeah, some of those points are going to be, you know, combined together. Maybe somebody picks up an assist from somebody else's goal. But what if we're seeing this happen where they all have those big years? would mean that especially you're probably looking at this top six doing really well or just the first three lines especially looking like they're rolling and that would be a very good thing for Utah going forward and I think especially in part of what we're seeing here with Dylan Gunther he could play a pivotal role in that he had a lot of the leading things like shots and chances and shots off the rush I think per 60 for this team last year this had back-to-back seasons where shooting percentage has been above 11 percent and i think this was kind of a testament for the organization making a statement and getting talent to stay this is going to be somebody that is going to be spending the next nine seasons with the team theoretically as he's under contract through this season two this upcoming one and could play a big part in the early stages of utah's opening you know kind of franchise history and it is something exciting to watch out for as gunther could be maybe one of the better players we've seen on this team in recent years i don't really want to get ahead of myself here but i do think that he has the potential to make this deal look good and is going to be part of a team in utah that has improved their blue line their forwards like we talked about and i really do think there's going to be some players out there for this team they're going to be in a spot where they could have career years and just be much more competitive than what some people are going to be giving them credit for and i'm hoping they could be a side that maybe makes a wild card in their first season even though things would be a little bit odd but for gunther i'm hoping he can be a leader for them and just really put his name on the map in the nhl Having this contract certainly will help as it brings people into this and saying, oh, well, this guy got a long-term deal. Certainly, he must be good. Maybe I wasn't paying as much attention to him. But yeah, that's just kind of the way things go with small market teams. But I did want to close this out by saying that I'm actually happy that he decided to stick around. And I know that this is more of an opinion thing. But I feel like that this team that came over from Arizona feels like it's more close or bonded compared to some other locker rooms in the NHL. Again, that's just more of an opinion. 
And if that is the case, it could be good for them going forward as you've got a brotherhood going into a new city and trying to show the new fans, hey, this is what we can be. Go out there and support us. Let's get some momentum rocking. Maybe have guys like Gunther go out and, you know, get 40 goals or something this year. So anyway, what are your thoughts on the deal on Gunther extension? Do you think this is going to be a good thing for Utah? Do you think that Gunther will live up to the deal? Or do you think it's going to be something where it takes him a little bit of time to really work up to what they're hoping that he can be? Does he have a slow start this year? Does he go off to hot start this year? Let me know all your thoughts down below in the comments. Also, please make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new. Everybody stay safe. Have a great night. And you will hawk your head. Goodbye, Brigadiers and Brigadettes. This is your captain signing off. Have a great night.